Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing Home Garden. Today I am going to divide a heuchera plant. And the reason I'm dividing it is because it's gotten a little bit leggy. It's kind of stringing out a little bit. And it's a good time to do it. There's a few things to think about with heucheras that I'm going to show you while I'm doing it. And talk about just some general tips with dealing with heucheras that you may want to know. So let's get to it. Let me show you the heuchera. Now this is a beautiful heuchera here. This one's actually called Southern Comfort and it can tolerate a bit of sun. But what you're gonna notice when I come in here to the actual crown of the root area that I've got these several different clumps. There's one here, there's another over here, there's another here, and there's several over here. And what happens is heuchera tends to get a little sprawly and then in the center it starts to leave a bit of an open hole. And so you end up getting growth all around the outsides in this hole. So that every now and then it's going to need replanted. So dividing them is fairly simple. First, I'm going to pull up a little bit on the plant, just like that. Heucheras tend to root along the surface. They don't really like being planted too deep. And so you're going to find that it's going to be very easy to kind of just gently pry them up off the ground like I did with that right there. Now, I'm going to turn that camera around a little bit. And you'll take a look at this and you see it's got this one big root coming over here and all these different offshoots see this right here there's a bit of a root coming off of this stem and so all I need to do to separate that into its own little plant is take a set of printers and give it a snip and from that I end up with this pretty nice division with the crown right there and I'm going to take those roots and I'm going to plant those into their own pot here in just a few minutes. So here I've got another one that's in a similar state. I'm going to come down over here. You can see it's already broken off from the main stem and I'm going to snip off the other part here. Now you can see there there's a little bit of a root on this stem and that's just enough. So when I plant this I'm going to plant this stem just under the surface of the soil in the pot and then that's going to allow these two sections to continue to grow. So and because this piece here is extending out over the sidewalk a little too much I'm going to just go ahead and snip it back and see what kind of divisions we can make from this one here. So that's three of those and then I'm leaving the rest of the plant in place which will look something like that right there. Now when you're transplanting heucheras, they do not like to have a ton of moisture. They like really well-drained soil. So things like wood chips and stuff are great to have incorporated in your soil mix because it allows for good drainage. You don't want to have a heuchera get fungal diseases or things like that because of too much moisture. And if you look at how that was growing, this was right along the surface of the soil. It really didn't want to grow deep. Uh, but it was starting to sprawl and spread and so they're going to stay in the top layer of the soil so do what they want to do and don't plant them too deep because that's that can introduce rot and other problems okay around my garden i get a ton of pots i save them i've collected them from other people so i just reuse old pots that i've got the ones about this size are perfect for transplanting these heucheras into uh, so i've got three of those set up and I'm going to make just a little mixture of some compost and bark chips. Real simple, probably about 50-50. And we'll plant them with that and put them in these pots and then we'll be good to go. So you can see here, this is what I'm using here, the bark chips. This is also called soil conditioner if you go buy it at the store. Just really finely chopped bark chips. And we're just going to kind of get about half of to that. And then we'll do some hand mixing of some compost. This is nothing fancy. Heucheras don't need a huge amount of fertilizer and stuff like that. They probably need something a little bit more moderate. Some lower level fertilizers are good. So we're just mixing that up a little bit and that'll be just fine. Okay, so here is one of the first ones. This is actually the first one I cut off. And I'm going to just kind of lift up the soil a little bit. Slide the end that had the roots in into it. Gonna add some of this bark shavings over top of it and let that all kind of shake down in there. 
and we're going to keep it light and up on the very surface of the pot and there we go it won't take it too long for it to develop new roots all along that little stem area and we're going to keep this in a shady location for a while until it can start tolerating a little bit more light and then here's another one right there you can see all the roots on the end sometimes when you transplant stuff you may end up with some extra pieces of things weeds so you want to pull them out but we'll do the exact same thing here we left a little bit of the soil surface open for planting and then we're going to put some of these bark shavings on top on both sides let it all kind of settle and there we go this has got a lot of leaves on it so I may need to pull some of these leaves off just clip them back so that it has a little less foliage so that the roots can take over and start growing a little bit better we don't want to tax the root system and here is the third one it didn't have as many roots on it but we're going to bury that cut end that I just put in here and the top part of the can't even see what I'm doing there the leaves too many leaves okay so we'll do that around here just like that and now we are good to start with some watering And so there we go. We've got three eucra plants plus the one that's originally in the pot, or actually in the ground, not in the pot, that we were able to make off of that one single plant. So as I mentioned a minute ago, I'm probably going to come in and clip off some of these larger leaves so that the roots have a better chance of sustaining the plant because, I mean, those are huge leaves. Check that out. It's pretty. But that's going to overexert the root system and so I need to kind of prune those off. So we'll just come in here and give it a few snips and we'll let the newer younger foliage become the predominant foliage on these pots. And if you don't have that many, it's okay to leave them. You just take out what you can. And you don't want to cut them all back because they still need some foliage to photosynth photosynthesize. And so that's really all there is to it with dividing a heuchera. Uh, the big thing is to make sure that you don't plant them too deep when you're planting them. You want the crown of the root to be above the grade of the soil because otherwise you'll end up getting a lot of moisture into those roots and that can introduce root rot which you want to avoid because heucheras don't like a ton of water uh, they like to have a little bit of water and they like to have the good good drainage in the pots or in the garden where they're at so i'm dave with growing the home garden if this video was helpful hit the like button subscribe and we'll catch you next time on growing the home garden